so Yujiro is the son of Yuchiro Hanma, and the father of Baki and Jack Hanma. He is also known as the world's strongest creature, because he has achieved unparalleled levels of strength and power. Yujiro's mother was a beautiful woman with long black hair. When she gave birth to Yujiro in 1960, she was immediately taken by the fear, because she somehow managed to understand the will of her newborn son, and immediately felt his threatening aura. Yujiro immediately developed his own awareness, and the time that she spent with her son shocked her emotionally, to the point of no longer wanting children after that. Later, when Yujiro began to go on his own, the mother abandoned the place where she lived, and decided to go to a temple on the mountains, to become a monk for the rest of her life. When Yujiro was 16 years old, he went to war to fight and develop his skills. He was in the Vietnam War, where he fought against the Americans. After the famous Bloody Mary bombardment plan was completed, Yujiro survives as one of the two rebels. The second person is a woman named Jane. After a short conversation, she suggests Yujiro to have sex, but he refuses. She laughs at him and tries to dominate him, but the ogre catches her by surprise and says that he is the one who rules and could kill her at any time. Then, Yujiro and Jane become companions. While American soldiers march and watch the ruins after the Bloody Mary operation, Yujiro lurks among the ruins and attacks General Sam Gary. He kills him, takes his skin off with his face, puts it on his own, and shows himself to the other soldiers pretending to be semi-conscious. The soldiers take him to some headquarters, thinking he's their general, who needs help. When in fact, their general is long dead, and Yujiro has made his way to the center of the nearby American headquarters. He slaughters the army in the middle of the building, and meets a soldier named Jerry Stridham. During this time, the American army gathered around the headquarters to shoot the whole building with cannons to get rid of Yujiro. Suddenly, Jane shows up with a big barrel of explosives. She tells Yujiro that the barrel will cause a big explosion when the army will start shooting. Jane, suspiciously, finds a secret passage to the underground exit and then starts to run away with Yujiro. Unfortunately, the ogre guessed Jane's true identity. So her real name is Diane Neal, and she's a Canadian spy of the United Nations. Her task is to lead Yujiro through this underground passageway, where the UN army awaits the end. Yujiro rapes Diane Neal to take revenge on her, then goes outside and destroys the army waiting for him. Nine months later, Diane bears his child, and this child was later named Jack. America still tries to get rid of Yujiro, and sends all its best units against him. However, the young fighter defeats all of them. Ultimately, the Americans turn to Biscuit Oliva, who is a powerful man and a VIP convict in the Arizona prison. Oliva is hired to get rid of Yujiro under the pretext of eliminating some drug cartel dealer. Oliva introduces himself to Yujiro when they meet, and the young fighter lets him know that he knows who Oliva is. The prisoner is happy with this fact, and starts a short fight with him. But after a while, Yujiro runs away, saying that he prefers to leave Oliva for another time. In the end, America decides to form an alliance with Yujiro. In other words, the USA is completely defeated by one man, Yujiro Hanma. Then, Yujiro once appeared at a big and expensive banquet. In this place, for the first time, he meets Emi Akazawa, who comes there with her husband Ichi Akazawa. Yujiro and Emi almost immediately notice each other in the crowd and starts to look at each other. Yujiro undresses her with his eyes, so when the jealous husband Eiichi Akezawa sees it, he enters and starts talking to Yujiro. Eiichi spills champagne on his suit, for which Yujiro gives Emi a kiss. Angry Aichi attacks him, but Lorian Grassi, a Brazilian fighter, stops them. The fighter wants to defend Eiichi, so he challenges Yujiro and loses the fight quickly. Later that night, knowing that Emi likes him, Yujiro breaks into Akizawa's mansion. He asks where Emi is and then kills Ichi before her eyes. After a while, Yujiro embraces and kisses Emi, telling her that he likes the bloodthirst in her eyes. He also confesses to her that he wants her to be the mother of his child. Soon after that, their son Baki Hanma is born. Later, Yujiro appears for the first time during the duel between Baki and Hanayama. He appears when both fighters have finished their fight. Yujiro ridicules them and states that this battle should not end yet since they are both alive. The provoked Hanayama attacks Yujiro, but he can't do anything. Baki tries to help Hanayama, but is knocked out with one blow by his father. Eventually, Hanayama is almost destroyed by the strongest man in the world. He easily knocks Hanayama out, stating that he only lost his time to meet such weaklings. Later, Yujiro visits Emi Akazawa, who is surprised and happy to see him. She tries to throw herself into his arms, but he rejects her and criticizes her for not having brought up Baki in a proper way, stating that their son is still too weak. He also tells her that he will now take their son's development into his own hands. After a while, Emi gets angry and rushes with a razor at Yujiro, who easily stops her. 
Her bloodlust makes him happy, and he kisses her. Eventually, Yujiro says that he will test Baki, for which Emi has trained him so far. Soon after that, Yujiro goes to the mountains and kills Yashazaru. He does it only to bring and show Baki the head of the ape, with which his son made a friendly relationship. Yujiro meets Baki during his training, and he shows him the head of the dead monkey, and Baki goes crazy. Yujiro manages to provoke his son, and desperate Baki tries to attack him. His father stops him and says he wants to fight him next month. Some time passes, and Stridum comes to talk to Yujiro. During the conversation, the ogre learns that Baki defeated Gaia, the master of the battlefield. Baki's father states that this is not a great feat at all, and decides to do something much better than his son did. He calls the Prime Minister of Japan, and says he'll be here in an hour to kill him. Then he really shows up at the Prime Minister's mansion and defeats a huge number of guards on his own. And then he shows up in the Prime Minister's room and raises his leg up to make a kick. The Prime Minister thinks he'll be murdered, but Yujiro only breaks his desk. He tells him that he should take better care of his protection, and then he leaves. Later, before the big match with Baki, Yujiro visits his old friend Kanemoto, who likes to hunt. They're talking about the fact that Yujiro is going to fight his son. Kanemoto begins a short philosophical speech about what a fight is for Yujiro, but suddenly the ogre interrupts him, saying that he did not come to visit only to drink his bitter tea. Kanemoto shows him his great and powerful bow, which he constructed by himself, and Yujiro urges him to shoot him. The old friend finally agrees, but the strongest creature on earth easily stops the arrow flying in his direction. Shortly afterward he meets with Emi at the hotel. She wants to show him her crazy love and have sex with him. Then Yujiro tells her that he is not interested in her at all, and that if Baki disappoints him in the fight, he will break contact with her. When he leads her to an emotional breakdown, she asks if she can stay the night anyway, but he wants her to leave. When the day of his fight with his son comes, Yujiro is attacked by Gaia, who wants to test his skills. Gaia, of course, loses the fight, even though both fighters have long been considered by people as equals. Later, Yujiro arrives by helicopter at the duel scene, where Baki and many of his friends are waiting. The first of the helicopters gets off the humiliated Gaia, who kneels down by Yujiro. The ogre is also accompanied by Emi Akizawa, Hitoshi Kuriyagawa, and an old soldier known as Sir. Their big match starts with an unexpected earthquake, but Yujiro stops it by hitting the ground. Everyone is surprised by the great power of Yujiro, but Baki tries not to worry about this unusual show of strength and attacks his father. Baki does his best during the fight, but is unable to give any serious damage to his father. Yujiro is still very satisfied with the level of his son and happily announces to Emi that today he will eat a delicious dish. At some point, excited Yujiro starts brutally knocking out his son and almost kills him, but he is stopped by Emi, who in such a critical situation decided to protect her child. Emi attacks Yujiro with a blow to the face, and Yujiro is surprised that Emi finally started to be a mother. However, eventually, the ogre hugs her for the last time and breaks her spine. Then Yujiro gets into a crazy mood and knocks out all the people who came to watch the fight, and then he just leaves the crime scene. Later, during the Underground Arena saga, Yujiro made his first proper appearance at the end of Baki's fight with Mount Toba. Yujiro suddenly enters the arena, and all the people are surprised. Baki is furious at the sight of his father because this is their first meeting in a very long time. He rushes at him impulsively, but Yujiro effortlessly knocks out Baki. He is seen by Dapo Orochi, who also enters the arena. Dapo tells him that he still hasn't forgotten the scars, which are a reminder of their former struggle. Both fighters attack each other, but after a while they stop, and Dapo asks the chairman, Mitsunari Tokugawa, to set up a match between him and Yujiro, and Tokugawa happily agrees to this offer. Later that night, Stridum drives Yujiro to a local boxing gym, where he starts a fight with the reigning boxing champion. During that fight, Yujiro admits that beating other people is better for him than having sex. Yujiro then effortlessly defeats the champion named Yuichi Tatsumi, with everyone at the gym, and then leaves. Later, one day Yujiro meets with Izu Motobe on the street. Motobe tells him that he felt jealous when he found out that Dopo is going to fight against the ogre. He also tells him that he wants to settle personal business with Yujiro. The ogre decides to fight on the grass rather than concrete, and Motobi takes this as an act of fear by Yujiro. He thinks that Yujiro doesn't want to fight him on concrete, because Motobi is a master of using throwing techniques during the fight. Yujiro states that he doesn't want anybody to interfere. Motobe shows that he has made great progress during his last years of training, and Yujiro even praises him for that. But unfortunately, he has no chance to win against the strongest creature on earth. Eventually, Yujiro knocks him out by throwing him to the ground, 
mockingly stating that Matobi is lucky because they didn't fight on concrete. Later, just before the start of the big clash, Yujiro lies down and relaxes in the locker room of the underground arena. When the fight begins, Dopo starts off the fight by jumping on top of Yujiro and putting him in a full-body headlock. Yujiro reacts by running and jumping off a wall, then slamming his back to the ground. Dopo dodges in time, and then delivers an axe kick at Yujiro, which the ogre dodges. Yujiro tries to use the Udande technique against Dopo, while at the same time Dopo uses the Meiba stance, which is also a defensive based style. Yujiro attacks first, giving Dopo the benefit of the attack, and he punches the ogre five times in the chest. Yujiro stands up, undamaged, and wildly punches at Dopo, while Dopo tries to block. The fight continues, and Dopo uses Sangan, a fighting technique that allows the user to block all the opponent's strikes by making the user's eyes mimic that of a chameleon's. Therefore, he was able to see attacks from all directions on Yujiro. The ogre is unable to get past this defense, and Dopo then proceeds to continually punch Yujiro. Dopo successfully lands consecutive hits on him, until Baki arrives and is seen by the ogre. Yujiro becomes enraged at the sight of Baki, causing him to unleash his demon back. With Yujiro's strength and speed now boosted, Dopo's punches no longer have an effect on him. Yujiro grabs Dopo's hand and nearly rips one of his fingers off. Stridum makes the remark to Baki that Dopo's attacks are meant for humans, but the ogre is something inhumanely powerful. Yujiro then viciously attacks Dopo, with each hit cutting the Dopo's body up. Dopo attempts to try and pierce the ogre's abs with his arms, only to be outdone by Yujiro's reflexes and have his eardrums ruptured. Dopo falls to the ground for a few seconds, with everyone watching thinking he is done. Dopo stands back up to keep fighting, but Yujiro then suddenly rips Dopo's right eye out of its socket, and the ogre finishes the match by delivering a punch directly to Dopo's heart, which ends up almost killing him. Later he comes to see his son's fight against Kureha Shinogi. At some point it seems that Baki has lost and then Kureha provokes Yujiro to come down to the arena. Yujiro accepts the offer and comes to him, but then Baki rises up and tells his father to not interfere. The ogre looks at Baki's fighting position and guesses what technique his son will try to use. He wishes him good luck and leaves the ring. So Baki defeats Kureha with the Gutaijutsu strike, and Yujiro explains Baki's technique to stride him. Then during the Maximum Tournament Saga, Yujiro unexpectedly appears in the fighter's locker room during the Maximum Tournament. Tokugawa asks him to not destroy his tournament, and Yujiro says he only came to watch. Nevertheless, he wants his young companion Yu Amanai to join the tournament. The ogre breaks the spine of one of the competitors to free up space for his companion. Amanai sees this brutal act and hits Yujiro with his open hand in the face, telling him that he recognizes him as a fighter but hates his violence. At first, it is unknown who Yujiro's comrade is, but then it turns out he's a martial artist who met Yujiro in the USA. When Amanai worked for the American government, the ogre was impressed by the fighting style and philosophy of Amanai, so he brought him to Japan. Most of the time, Yujiro sits next to Tokugawa during the tournament and watches the fights. At some point, he gets bored and goes outside. He meets a Muay Thai champion named Chamoan. Their fight is very short, and Yujiro beats him with just one finger. When Chamoan is knocked out, Yujiro smiles and says that this should satisfy him for a while. During the tournament, Yujiro meets Jack Hammer. When Jack wins his fight in the first round, Yujiro goes into the arena to talk to him. Both fighters are almost starting to fight, but they're interrupted by a jealous Baki. Yujiro throws him aside with one blow so he won't stop them. After a while, Jack walks up to Yujiro and tells him something that makes Yujiro very happy. And after a while, the ogre announces that Jack has every right to fight him. Later, when Amanai finds that Dopo Orochi is already damaged enough to finish the fight, he starts asking Tokugawa and the audience to recognize him as the winner, because he does not want to use any more violence. Then Yujiro enters and attacks Amanai with a blow to the edge of his hand, which deforms Amanai's collarbone. Yujiro calls him a weakling and throws him to the wooden barrier of the arena. He wants to fight all current winners in the tournament, in exchange for disrupting the tournament. That's when Kureha comes and says that Yujiro should fight the losers because this tournament can't end like this. The ogre beats them all without a problem. Then all the victors enter the arena and start to provoke Yujiro. However, suddenly Yujiro is shot with tranquilizer bullets. It turns out that those shots were planned by Tokugawa and Baki to stop Yujiro. He's taken away and moved to a closed room with a steel door. But after some time, he wakes up, breaks down the door, and leaves. Before Baki's match with Kaiyu Retsu, Yujiro returns to talk to his son's opponent. He tells him he should be afraid of this fight. During the battle, Yujiro watches his son's brutality 
and hopes that Retsu will awaken the true Hanma spirit in Baki. However, ultimately Baki does not kill Retsu, even though he is very close to doing it. After the fight, Yujiro meets Baki and tells him that he is disappointed because of his son's delicacy. When the final fight between Baki and Jack is about to take place, Yujiro meets Jack before the match begins. Jack tells him that when he wins the fight against Baki, he will come to defeat Yujiro. During the final fight, Jack turns out to be the son of Yujiro and Diane Neal. After the fight, when Jack was defeated, Yujiro meets Jack again and is disappointed with his defeat and his destroyed body. He turns away from his son and tells him to leave, but Jack attacks him. A beaten fighter tries to bite Yujiro, but fails miserably. In return, the ogre bites Jack brutally, and then he easily knocks out tired Jack, criticizes him for losing twice in one day, and then leaves. Later, in the Death Row Convict Saga, Yujiro is shown for the first time when he watches television, in which they talk about five convicts who have come to Tokyo. Yujiro is in the middle of a small training session, and at the same time smoking a cigarette, which he kicks out after a while, and then starts laughing at the police, who in his opinion will never understand how five prisoners arrived at the same time. Yujiro himself refers to the phenomenon of synchronicity. He hires Sikorsky to kidnap Kozue to make Baki fight him. Later he briefly scuffles with Sikorsky, but then Oliva shows up to arrest Sikorsky. Then he visits Baki and his girl in the middle of the night and encourages Baki and Kozue to have sex as many times as possible in order to make Baki stronger. Later, he brutalizes Yanagi for refusing to admit defeat to Motobi after getting his arm cut off. Then in the Great Chinese Challenge Saga, Yujiro decides to test Muhammad Ali Jr. and is pissed when Jr. left the match unfinished. He fights Ryu Kayu and violently rips off his face. He later fights Kayu Kaku, who manages to put up a good fight, but the fight ends when Kaku suddenly dies of old age. Yujiro then meets Kaku after he was revived and promised him to fight again in a century. Then in Godlike Clash of the Kids Saga, Yujiro visits Muhammad Ali, and they talk about the outcoming fight between their sons. He tells Ali that Baki, while not being perfect, still has his Hanma blood flowing in him. Later, he goes to the underground arena, and announces the beginning of the fight. After Baki's victory, Yujiro is challenged by his Baki. He gets excited, and recognizes Baki as his prey. He leaves the arena while he says to Mitsunari, that he'll be waiting for his call. He then flies to Africa, and fights against a lion. While Yujiro was in Africa, a giant monstrous elephant was rampaging and killed 41 humans and 977 animals. After the elephant destroys the task force led by Saman, Yujiro shows up and kills the elephant very easily. Right after this, he leaves and goes to a summer house and stays for a while. One day, Jerry Stridham visits him. Then, Yujiro learns from Stridham about Baki's special training, and he laughs at this because of how ridiculous he finds Baki's way of training. Later during the Great Prison Battle Saga, at the end of the Jun Govaru and Biscuit Oliva's battle, Yujiro briefly shows up in Govaru's hallucination, congratulating him on beating Biscuit Oliva. Meanwhile, in real life, he is seen inside a car using President George Bosch as his personal driver. Later he goes to the White House and tests the capacity of the President's security staff. And after the President is thrown by a window, he saves him in the last second and congratulates the young boy who chose to act like that in order to protect the President, rather than fighting him. Then during the Pickle Saga, Yujiro appeared for the first time at the guarded military facility, where Pickle was brought surely to test the might of this new 190 million years old creature. At the time when Retsu and others were sneaking their way through the guards hiding in the shadows, Yujiro Hanma comes to the front gate. After being stopped by the guards, Yujiro activates his frightening aura and makes three armed big dudes fight each other. Later, Yujiro gets to Pickle's apartment, which is simply a big square of bulletproof glass. He decided to test Pickle first, even though he was the last one to arrive. So after deeply insulting poor Katsumi, he went to meet Pickle by squeezing his face and his body through the bulletproof glass like it was some sort of packing tape in front of him, and not the wall that even bullets can't penetrate. The sharp broken glass left no damage on his body, only ripped his shirt off, and his pants were also left entirely unsketched. He then decided to test Pickle's strength by holding out the fist to him and pushing against each other. But Pickle is not a joke, and he withstood Yujiro's pure strength. Yujiro realized that in terms of pure strength, Pickle is superior to him. So he decided to pull a move and threw Pickle to the ground. After this, he left Pickle's place along with all the other fighters who came to see Pickle. Later, he was invited by Dopo Orochi to have a drink in a bar. After that he goes to meet Tokugawa, and when he asks why Yujiro does not fight Pickle, he gets a bit mad and breaks some stuff around him, and leaves the place.
So after some time, Yujiro goes to meet the new USA president. So basically, Hanma Yujiro is so badass that every president of America swears that they will have a friendship treaty with him and will never interfere with his life. Simply Yujiro can do whatever he wants, kill whoever he wants, and take whatever he wants in the USA, and he will be good with that. After that, the president wanted to see if Yujiro can turn coal into diamonds with his bare hands, and Yujiro fulfills his wish by doing it easily. Then Yujiro goes to the Arizona State Prison, where he and Biscuit Oliva face off against each other. Yujiro first knocks out Biscuit with a direct punch to his face, and when Biscuit decides to use his grip strength, he was again overpowered by Yujiro. And it simply proves that Yujiro is much more stronger than Biscuit Oliva, even without using the demon back. After some time, Stridum gets ready by wearing highly advanced armor. The armor was equipped with a lot of explosives, and he planned to fight Yujiro Hanma using this armor. As he was mentally preparing himself to fight, Yujiro suddenly appears behind him and scares the crap out of him. He gets ready to attack Yujiro, but Yujiro just finds it funny and laughs at him. He thanks him for making him laugh this much. But in the next moment, Yujiro kicks his helmet and tells Stridum if he wants to really break their promise and fight against him. He still thinks that he might have a chance against him, but then he realizes that his armor was already sliced into pieces, and after witnessing this Stridum just gives up. Later when Yujiro's and Baki's final fight was coming close, Yujiro goes to meet Tokugawa and tells him to get a complete body checkup. Tokugawa was surprised and asked Yujiro why does he care about him. He starts shouting at Yujiro, then suddenly he started coughing blood and soon he passed out. Yujiro tells Tokugawa's maid to call a doctor and then he leaves. As he was walking on the streets he was able to notice everyone's weakness who was coming into his sight. It was like Yujiro's eyes can see through their bodies and he was able to find every single person's weakness with just one look. Yujiro then goes to a restaurant in New York City. There Stridum tells him that Baki is now somewhat of a famous person in this world, which clearly infuriates Yujiro. Yujiro asks for more details, and Stridum tells him that Baki wants to have a normal father and son dinner with him. The President of the United States was having a secret meeting with the top leaders of Japan, and he was showing them the coal that Yujiro Hanma crushed for him. But then their meeting was interfered by Yujiro himself, and his sudden appearance scared the shit out of everyone present there. Yujiro was infuriated, and he crushed the jar carrying the coal dust and made a cross with it, then told the USA president to repeat his oath in front of him. When the president repeats his oath, Yujiro shouts at him and tells him that he doesn't seem to respect his oath, because he's trying to interfere in a quarrel between him and his son. The president says that the fight between Yujiro and Baki is not just any normal fight. It's more like a fight between nations, and they have to observe it closely. Yujiro likes his honesty, and tells the president to not enter his field of vision when he will observe their fight from the side. Later, it was shown on a news channel that thousands of people were walking on a bridge, and at the same moment, lightning struck the bridge, but no one was injured by that lightning. It was because the lightning actually struck Yujiro, and at the moment of impact, Yujiro's entire skeleton became visible. His skull was in the shape of a monster, and everyone who saw that image, including the news reporters, was completely shocked and could not believe that it was actually real. Later at his place, Baki was preparing coffee, but then suddenly Yujiro pays him a visit, and it was so sudden that Baki did not know what to do in this situation. But still, he made coffee and gave it to his father as well. Yujiro got angry because he didn't enjoy it, so Baki apologized for it as well. After talking for some time and ripping Baki's table into four pieces, Yujiro left Baki's place and told him that he will have dinner with him. So Baki prepares dinner for Yujiro and fixes the table that Yujiro had previously broken. He was kind of surprised when Yujiro finally came for dinner, but he was also happy because he always wanted to live this moment. Yujiro thanked Baki for cooking the dinner, and Baki was surprised because he didn't believe that his father could ever be this polite. Yujiro and Baki had a good conversation and Baki felt so good that he wanted to cry, because Yujiro was finally acting like the father that Baki has always wanted. When they finish their dinner, Baki asks Yujiro if he can wash the dishes. Yujiro says that they will decide this by playing rock, paper, scissors, and the loser will wash and clean dishes. When they play it, Baki actually wins and thinks that Yujiro will clean the dishes, but Yujiro just forces his scissors to cut Baki's rock, so in the end, Baki had to clean all the dishes. After this, Yujiro invites Baki to have dinner with him on the next day, and then he goes outside and scares the shit out of the guards, who were tasked to spy on Yujiro and Baki. On the next day, Baki goes to a super fancy restaurant that Yujiro has booked for their dinner. Baki was in casual clothes, but on the other hand, 
Yujiro makes his appearance in fancy clothes. Baki was surprised by how Yujiro behaved in the restaurant, and even in front of the restaurant manager. But he felt good, because he got to learn a lot of things from his father. But soon things started heating up between the two of them, when Baki asked Yujiro why he killed his mother. Baki grabbed Yujiro's collar, and Yujiro got so angry, that the entire building was shaking because of his aura. Yujiro was going mad, and to teach Baki a lesson, Yujiro spanked his butt so hard that Baki flew out of the window, but still Baki manages to come back in. Yujiro keeps beating Baki, and he grabs his head, and then they fall out from the window upon a parked car. They keep exchanging blows, but Baki keeps getting knocked by Yujiro, and Yujiro seems almost unharmed by all of Baki's attacks. Yujiro hits Baki with a whip-like attack, and Baki experiences an insane amount of pain. But when he uses the same attack on Yujiro, but unlike Baki, Yujiro manages to hide his pain. Then Baki, without hesitation, lands multiple shots at Yujiro. But because of his durability, Yujiro effortlessly blocks most of them. This pushes Baki to pull out his Triceratops fist, causing Yujiro to make a surprised face. With his Triceratops fist, Baki was managing to push Yujiro. But in the response, Yujiro begins to pull up his imagination fighting style. So Yujiro's shirt blows up with a smiling demon shockwave hitting everyone who was watching. With this Yujiro Hanma activated his demon back, Baki attacked and landed some hits on Yujiro, which made Yujiro praise Baki, and hearing praise from his father made Baki cry. Yujiro tries to pat him in the head, but Baki dodges him until Yujiro grabs him and forces it to occur. Soon Pickle arrives to take part in this fun, he gains Yujiro's attention but is punched by Baki, which makes Pickle realize that this isn't his fight now. So Pickle becomes a good boy, and quietly sits down in a corner to watch their fight like everyone else. As the fight continues, Yujiro knocks out Baki again and again. Soon Yujiro's father, Yuichiro Hanma, appears in spirit form, and he makes fun of Yujiro Hanma and also encourages Baki to win this fight. When the fight continues, Yujiro uses his father's technique on Baki. With that technique, Baki is smashed against a car multiple times. But soon, Baki also lands a kick and a punch on him, and Yujiro was taking major damage. Baki continues with more attacks, which includes the legendary Nutshot, which landed perfectly this time. So their fight goes on for a long time, but Baki is eventually knocked out by Yujiro. And with it, their fight comes to an end. So in the end, Yujiro Hanma shares the title of the world's strongest creature with Baki. Probably because Baki pushed him to his extremes more than anyone else. So a very boring time comes after the end of the father and son fight because no one was fighting and no one had any real challenge to face. During this boring time, Hanayama wants to fight Yujiro in order to get some excitement. When they met, Hanayama punches Yujiro and Yujiro gets a little nosebleed. But when Yujiro attacks, he is able to completely destroy Hanayama. But still, Hanayama enjoys the beating as it allowed him to feel the excitement once again. After some time, Yujiro Hanma faces against Musashi Miyamoto, who was revived in the modern era. Miyamoto Musashi wasn't able to cut him like the others, and called his body something like a suit of armor. So Yujiro initially dominated the fight, and Miyamoto even lost the grip of his sword for the first time in his life, and was shocked at how this was able to happen. Musashi realized the overwhelming strength of Yujiro, but near the end of the fight Miyamoto got extremely serious and was going for the kill. But Izu Motobe interfered in their fight and took the blow that was meant for Yujiro. Yujiro gets angry and goes crazy and starts beating up Motobe even though he's already pretty much knocked out from the blow. So then they decided to call their fight a draw. But still, Miyamoto Musashi was able to land multiple cuts on Yujiro Hanma. And even Yujiro knew that Musashi is unlike any opponent he previously faced. So after this Musashi and Yujiro don't get to face each other. But honestly, I would have loved to watch these two fighting in an all-out battle in the underground arena. Then, during the Baki Sumo arc, Yujiro is first seen beating up Trump and meeting Joe Biden in the United States of America. From a test report, it was also revealed that Yujiro Hanma has testosterone levels 10 times higher than any other male on the planet, which essentially makes everyone female from his point of view. Yujiro also faces off against Nomi no Sukune, who was already on a losing streak, Yujiro slams him down and was easily able to handle Sukuna's attacks. He then easily finishes off Sukuni and leaves. Yujiro then meets the current Kehaya, and he has a kicking competition against Yujiro. Surprisingly, the Kehaya manages to kick Yujiro through the roof, but Yujiro returns and acts like nothing happened. But after that, when Yujiro kicks the guy through the roof, he doesn't fall back or return to show his face. 
So that's all we have for this video, and if you guys enjoyed it, then make sure to get subscribed to the channel.